Hello Super Nerd friends and welcome to Thursday. I will be your host today, Alexis Lord, talking about random things that have been going on and the book that we're supposed to be reading, Paper Towns. Becky, your vlog was full of a lot of interesting questions, a lot of kind of things that seem a bit out of reach. I'm not sure if you are actually looking for answers or if you're just kind of questioning to the universe, you know, about these things to ponder them. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world that you get a lot of your inspiration to think about these things from television. I do think you watch a bit too much television, but I also watch a lot of television and YouTube, and I don't really think it's a bad thing as long as something is inspiring you to think about things like that critically and to kind of question the world that you live in, I guess. I feel like people don't ponder thoughts like that very often, and so I'm glad that you have something to inspire you to ponder about life and its mysteries. That's actually really great. Haley, it was great to see your house. Uh, <laughs> my first thought when I saw it, the, the first shot of yours, I didn't even read the title, I don't think, of your vlog. I just clicked on it because I was excited, because uh, I saw it was from Super Nerd Friends. And then I looked at your first wall and I was like, that is a lot of animal heads and boy was I <laughs> not prepared for your house to look like Cabela's. <laughs> but it's nice to see where you live at um, and hopefully sometime we'll get to see your grandparents or something if they're interested in being in your vlogs with you. Um, it was just really nice to see. Alaska is very pretty in the spring it looks like and 50 degrees sounds really nice after being in 100 degrees in Las Vegas. So <laughs> I'm glad that you're home and having a nice time to relax before you get a job. I think that's important. I was getting a little stir crazy, but it's good that you are home now. So while I was in Vegas, I started reading Paper Towns, and I finished it the same evening that I started. I mean, finished the part we were supposed to, not the whole book, uh, because it is wonderful, and I'm really excited for us to discuss it. Um, I've never really thought of young adult novels as having as much depth as they do when I read John Green's novels. I think because he puts so much thought and... Um, that he really believes that young adults are intelligent, that it's not all about the story, that there is a lot of kind of overarching themes about life that are going on. Like in Paper Town specifically, uh, so far they're talking a lot about the future and what you do following like societal rules, you know, like you do these things in a certain order because it's what you're supposed to do and it's what everybody does. And why do we do that? Is that important? And what's the point of all of it, I guess, um, because all of our existences seem so similar with, you know, you are born, you get raised kind of the same way as most people, you go to school to get a job so you can have a nice, stable family and life, and then you die, and it's kind of like, what did you do to impact things, I guess? What did you do any different than anyone else? Um, which is really interesting. I've thought about that before, kind of about how we all follow the same pattern in life, and I'm not really sure I came to any conclusions, besides that's kind of what we have to do. Um, but hopefully this book will help us stimulate some conversation about that. It's a really interesting topic, and I'm really excited for us to kind of delve into that. So hopefully you guys will have read by your next vlog, and we can talk about it. I'm slightly sorry that we decided to do this by parts, because part one ends with a pretty good cliffhanger, and I really wanted to read more <laughs> once I got to the end of it, because it was so good and so interesting. So hopefully um, we will start going to the next part soon, <laughs> because I really want to read it, and until then I've just been reading a lot, because I want to read, and I can now, which is great! I just finished... Uh, Catching Fire, the second book in The Hunger Games, and I need to finish the last one. Catching Fire, I felt, was significantly better to me in entertaining and kind of twist-wise than Hunger Games, but I still... I'm still not really big on the message part of it, I guess. To me, like, these are two separate worlds of intensity of message, I guess, from Hunger Games to, like, John Green's novels. I feel like John's, John Green's are kind of saturated with uh, these themes that it's almost, like, the story doesn't matter. It's almost too much. Um, 
and Hunger Games there is not nearly enough message and I'm just kind of there for the story but it's not I have a hard time really caring about it a lot because I'm not sure that it's bettering me as a person that I'm really learning anything or even being challenged about anything it's just kind of a story to me and while that's nice it can be entertaining and it is entertaining it's just I guess I kind of expect more now but thinking about all that and listening to John talk about his writing kind of evolution which he has been during his FIFA plays uh, thinking about all that and listening to John talk about the evolution of his writing which he's been doing in his FIFA playthroughs recently has got me thinking about writing a lot I really have a strong desire to write a novel, a young adult novel probably because those are the only ones I read um, but I don't know. I've tried before and it didn't really work out and then I had a lot of stuff to do so at this kind of time in my life when I do have time I'm going to try to write that novel and I thought of a really what I think is a pretty good idea for a novel while I was driving the car home so I'm gonna try that too I wish I could send it to you guys. I, I don't know, I guess we'd have to talk about a ruling on that, whether that is considered textual communication or not. Me sending you a file of my novels in progress. But once I have something written, I would really like feedback. And I thought about it, and you guys are pretty much the only people that I would want feedback from. Like, maybe my mom or something, but I don't know. Most people, I don't... Uh, I don't know, either I wouldn't want to subject them to that, and I feel like you guys are close enough to me that I'm allowed to do that to you, <laughs> or I feel like they just might not get it, and it might not be helpful, which doesn't really matter, I guess, but I don't know. I would like to hear what you guys have to think about what I write, so hopefully we'll find some way to do that. Anyway, I'm not sure I have much else to say. I guess if you're interested in my idea for a book I could talk about it but it's very ill-formed obviously since I thought about it today in the car um, which was only three or four hours ago but hopefully that becomes a thing and you can read it or I can share I could read some to you I guess I don't know that might be kinda weird um, but yeah hopefully we can get something like that going I would really love to write something and have it put out into the world for people to read. Uh, that's actually one of the things on my, uh, my sorry, I was getting something. My list of a hundred things to do before I die. It's number seventy-four, which says write a novel, get a novel published. Um, because I decided write a novel wasn't a big enough goal, <laughs> I guess that I want to get one published. Oh, everything's falling down. <laughs> but, yeah, I would really like to do that. I guess get started on it. Um, and I don't know, every time Mackenzie comes in my room, my niece Mackenzie, she always says, so you haven't done many of those, <laughs> pointing to my bucket list. And I say, well, yes, but I have 60-odd years to do them. But I guess it's a good kind of kick-in-the-butt reminder that you know, I should live every day to the fullest trying to accomplish my goals. So I'm thankful for my seven-year-old niece who comes in and tells me that I'm not doing my goals well enough, that I need to be focused on them more. So I can cross things off my list and she can see the progress I've made in my life. <laughs> well, I love you guys and I'm excited to hear your opinions on the book so far. Um, I will see you on your respective days of Friday and Saturday, and hope you're having a great week. Bye!